Marcy again, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm here with the super talented Omar Trujillo. How you doing, Omar? Muy bien, muy bien, y tú? Muy bien, muy bien. Uh, today, we had the chance to meet. I got the chance to see you perform. Tell us about your new single that you performed today, Locura. Locura. Bueno, pues, les traigo un nuevo sencillo, um, Locura. It's a urban Latin reggaeton new single that I brought out here for, to promote during the Latin Music Week. Um, it's, you know, pretty much a... Talks about a you know like kind of like a toxic relationship between you know it's a locura trying to fall in love again but at the same time you know you don't want to get hurt so you know it's an interesting song um, it's out on all platforms and so now you can go check it out but yeah we're out trying to promote that. Okay, so you guys make sure you check out his new single. Well, you know it's definitely a little more challenging just being a little further away from LA, but because I you know the music industry a lot of it has to do in LA a lot of the connections and and the labels and everything, uh, but I think just being able to like put a city on a map, being able to like represent, you know, my roots. I think it's something, you know, that I could probably take it with a little more pride, a little more ambition and, you know, try to do it for the community, try to represent and, you know, make a name out of myself and hopefully, you know, just inspire the community and other, you know, people that want to do music who are, you know, a little intimidated by the, you know, the population or the percentages, you know, just, just go for it. I mean, it's all sale para todos, you know. Yeah, what do you got to lose, right? Okay, so now question for you: Do you prefer singing? What do you What are you enjoying more right now? Going urban and reggaeton, or singing your R and B songs in English? And what's more challenging to you? Well, I think since originally I started in the English industry, like, um, composing R and B music, um, this is new style urban reggaeton. I've I really been trying it out for a couple of years, and I like it. I mean, it's what's trending. You know, it's like rumba. You know, la gente se mueve. I like dancing to it. So. I think it's it's fun to experiment with the different cultures. Um, I like to study, you know, also as a producer, you know, I like to become familiar with what makes this subgenre, what it, you know, where it comes from and all the roots. So I think it's very exciting to be able to be a little versatile and especially be open-minded. And, you know, you don't hear a lot, a lot of Mexicans like doing reggaeton and stuff. So it is a little challenging, but I think if we just have a little fun with it, I think people can, you know, they can be a little open-minded to it. So take us back real quick. What was the very first beat you ever made? Ooh, uh, I think that was back in high school. And that was before I knew how to use measures. I was just kind of playing by ear, so it was all off, but... <laughs> that you were proud of it, though, right? <laughs> we're, all, we're all proud of it, right, when we first do that? If I listen to it now, I probably won't be too proud of like, it. What? <laughs> yeah, but I bet you were pushing it like this is the one, this yeah. is the one. I know how the feel it is. So tell us, so tell the audience where can we find you at on social media? Uh, well, you can follow me on Instagram, um, Omar Trujillo, official, official Omar Trujillo, or you can search me up on YouTube, Omar Trujillo. Also go by Little O in the English industry, so I have a couple songs out there you guys can check out. But um, I'm dropping a music video for La Nueva Canción Locura, uh, hopefully this week or next week, so I stand atentos para eso. Can you, before before we go off, can you give us a little description of the video you got coming out? A little idea, creativity behind it. Yeah, so um, the the... The, the symbolic, the symbolism of the music video is, it's mainly like a, it's this chick that portrays temptation. Uh, it's a bed full of rose petals. Um, so during the music video, I'm fighting this temptation of wanting to be with this, with this, you know, symbol of, of attraction of temptation, but at the same time, I'm trying to fight the, you know, the, the, the doubt, like, no, like, she's going to hurt me. I'm, it's going to end bad in the end. But even though it's, there's a strong physical attraction, that's the locura of the, of the whole video of it. So it's going to be a fun project. Um. Is this a real life song, like a real life story you're telling in Locura? Yeah, all my music I, I write from honest lyrics, so. Well, you heard it from him, the man himself, Omar Trujillo. This is Dylan Garcia with RYM. We'll catch you next time.